Good morning, my sister. You're welcome to Shekana Glory Faith Ministry. Please introduce yourself and tell us what our marvelous God has done for you. Emmanuel. 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 God is good, people of God. Okay, standing before you is Rendani Dagata. I'm originally from Venda, but residing in Chowbeck now. Amen. Do we have Venda in the house? Can you make some noise? Amen. Amen and amen. Okay, I'll try to go back a little bit for some of you guys to understand. Uh, somewhere in January, I came and testified about a job that God gave me. After three years of applying and nothing was happening, I didn't get any luck. And then I went and worked in Pulukwane. So one of the Sundays when I came to testify, I remember I had an interview. Where in where I went to that interview on Monday, people of God... They grilled me. People understand when I say they grilled me. I went out not knowing my name. I remember one of the ladies who was busy asking me a question. She was busy writing and then she had to stop writing and try to look at me, open the glasses. Are you serious? What are you answering? People of God, I could hear even myself when I'm answering a mess. Yeah. But one thing I remember that that Sunday when I was testifying for a job, the following day, it was that interview. So Prophet said, make sure you pass through Maryland. That one he made, he, he told me right nicely that make sure. So I came and then I laid my seat and then I said, God, please let your mercy speak for me. Hey, people of God, I went to the interview. They grilled me. They asked me questions to a point where they ended up, four of them, they were asking me the same question, trying to translate that. Are you serious? Because the thing that they are asking me, I don't know it. But the post, I applied for it. But I don't know what they are saying, what they are asking me. I don't know. I've never done it. Okay, fine. I remember when I was about to leave the interview, this other lady was saying, okay, now we are done. I was taking my bag. She said, Sissy, please relax. Where are you rushing to? The way I didn't want to be in that, or in that auditorium, people of God, the way the interview was a mess. I remember I came out and then I didn't even want to look back. So I went back and in my mind I was like, let me just forget about this interview. This one was a serious mess. I've never went to an interview that was difficult like this. And I was like, okay, fine. Let me just forget about it. If God, God, I remember I just said it like this. So God, if interviews are like this, please forgive me. I'm not going anymore. Because this one was such an embarrassment. I've never seen this. Okay, fine. I remember I did the 40 days fasting. And then I was sitting on the 16th of February. That was the last day of 40 days fasting. Hey, people of God. I remember a message came around five, and I was like, who's, who's, what, who's, who's message is that? Like, who's busy SMSing me? I want to break the fasting. Now, the fasting was too long. I, I just want to break the fasting and rejoice. When I checked the message, I remember it was written, congratulations. The very same position. I said, huh? Can so you I clap for it. Master Jesus? <laughs> Look at your screen and see the message our sister is describing. Congratulations on your appointment. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Sister, can you read what is written on the screen? Is this the same message you got? Yes, it is, people of God. And if you can check the date, it's on Friday on the 6th, in the last day of 40 days. The last day. People of God, there is power in fasting. When prophets say fast, fast. Oh, the fasting was difficult this year. People who fasted, they can tell you. It was too much this year. But for some of us, it was opening ways. Okay, so let me continue. Then I came, I went to the, to the office, and then I signed a contract. And then I went back to Pulukwane. I remember uh, my manager in Pulukwane said to me, it's so sad. I, I, I don't want to lose you because you are one of my favorites. But let me see your offer and see if maybe I can give you something like that. He looked at my offer and was like, I want what am I? I can't afford this. This is, is, is out of my budget. This is way too much. And he said to me, this is what someone who's under me as a manager is getting here. And that's what they are giving you. They said, no, all the best. May God grant you wisdom. I release you. 
children of God, you can do better than this. So I started on the first, and I remember I worked, it was on a Friday, fine. The following week I worked, and then I'm surprised my manager is bringing me a list. And then when I checked the list, I said, what is this? Because it looks like I'm responsible for something. Who are these people? And then she said to me, no, I forgot to tell you something of which I asked you on the interview. I said, yes, I remember. You asked me if I have supervised anyone. And I was like, no. But in my heart, I was like, you don't have to say no in an interview. You just have to try. But I said, no, because I haven't done that. And she said to me, no, these are the people that will be working under you, will be supervising. The people of God, when I check, it was admin clerk. What I've been praying for, what I've been applying just for that small position, God opened this one. Not knowing that, those ones that have been applying the admin clerk are the people that are working under me now. I supervise them. Let us clap for Master Jesus. Let us once again clap for Master Jesus. Amen and amen. Thing that I forgot, it was when Prophet uh, spoke a word, he said congratulations, and then I remember it was somewhere in, th in 30 December, I was still working there, so to me I was like, okay, he said congratulations, he said a, a new level, so I was thinking, oh, I'm going to settle in Pulukwane, a promotion is coming, a new level, it's obviously it's an increase in promotion, like, or oh, money, so I didn't know that he was actually seeing this, He's, he gave a prophecy before I came to interview. So meaning that he saw it before and he saw everything, the outcome. Because he even said, congratulations, I see a testimony. Of which the interview to me, it was a mess, it was difficult. So people of God, I remember I've been applying for admin clerk, just an admin clerk, just to get a job. And I remember all of them, they came back saying, we regret, we regret. Not knowing, and I kept on saying, my God, you can't even give me a small one, just a small. Not knowing that God is rejecting that because I'm way better than that. Those are the people that will be working under me. Let us clap for Master Jesus. My sister, at what point did the prophet say congratulations? Is it before or after? The prophecy was before. It was on the 30th of December. My interview was on the 15th of January. So he congratulated you before the date of interview. Yes. I remember on the, on the video he said congratulations and he called my name Randy. Congratulations, Randy, congratulations. And you said the level has changed. I see a testimony. Now that you rate your performance in the interview, how will you compare and contrast that congratulations the prophet has given you? Because you know very well that if you are to mark yourself in that interview, you know your score. So what, how can you relate to the prophecy of the servant of God. Men of God, uh, people of God, there is so much power in Shekinah. There is God in Shekinah. There is God in Shekinah. One thing that kept me going, even when I was in Pulukwan, I said, God, that interview was difficult and that position is big. I don't even know what I was doing. What was that? Why, was, why was I doing that? Like applying those big posts, in fact. But something in me said, remember prophet said, pass through mercy land. There's so much power there, people of God. There's so much power. There, I spoke a mess in the interview, but the mercy of God. Yeah. To me, it was a mess, but to them, it was good answers because of the mercy of God. So you said that prophet gave you prophecy before and said, congratulations, my daughter. And you passed through the messy land. Yes. When you were passing through the messy land, what was going on in your mind? What prayers did you offer as you were passing through the messy land? I just carried a seed and then I remember putting my seed there in the box and then I kneeled down. I just said, the only prayer that I said was just one small sentence. God, have mercy on me. Let your mercy speak for me. Let me disappear and you appear. Let us clap for Master Jesus. We are going to watch the prophecy from the servant of God concerning our sister who is testifying right now. I was looking at your files. The files have been kept. I'm looking at the five individual files. Individual files. Individual files. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Randy, congratulations. Randy, congratulations. The devil have changed. I'm telling you testimony. Testimony, testimony, testimony. I can hear the servant of God saying that your level has changed. Is it true that your level has changed? Yes, the level has changed because if you... Let us clap for Master Jesus. Amen. amen and amen. Amen. Sister, for how long have you been applying for this same position without getting it? Um, I remember I've been applying for three years, and by that time I was busy applying those small posts, uh, just rating myself down that at least if I get this. But I remember that day when I applied that when it was somewhere in November, and I said, me, I don't qualify here, but I apply for this. Me, I've got the grace. I'm the daughter of Shakaina. I will get this one. And I posted it in the box, and I left. And indeed, they called me. Amen and Amen. Indeed, we thank God because your level has changed. Listeners, your level have also changed. If your level has changed, can you make some noise? <laughs> Tell your neighbor, my neighbor, my level has changed. As my sister's level has changed, my level has also changed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My sister, how can you describe the power of God that qualifies you where you seem to you personally that you are not qualified? The power of God is amazing, people of God, because I remember some interview that I went some time in Pretoria, and that interview, I nailed it, and I was like, ah, oh, this one, I'll get it. I answered everything very nicely. But by then, I remember I went to that interview, I didn't even tell Prophet. But this one, because it was big and I was scared and I don't know what to expect because I didn't do what I applied for, I told Prophet, and indeed, he released the word of pass through Maryland. And indeed, I obeyed the instruction. Sister, we thank you so much for this wonderful des testimony. Our God, the God of right here, right now, have qualified you. And today, to the glory of God, you are testifying the goodness of God upon your life. As, have, as God has taught you in every ramifications of your life, what is the word of advice for people who are sitting here, the saints here present, listening to you and viewers all over the world who have been looking for a change of position, a change of life, who have been stagnated in one position, and those who are looking for employment for years, what is your word of advice for people in this category? My word of advice would be, people of God, stop limiting yourself. There is grace in Shakaina to qualify you where you don't qualify. There is so much grace. Whatever that you want, put it in prayer, wait patiently for God, and God will definitely do it. My sister, we thank you once again. The saints here present listening to you, and on behalf of our Father in the Lord, we thank you so much for this powerful words of encouragement, your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We decree this morning more testimony, more promotion will come your way. Next week is too far for you to come for another glorious testimony in the mighty name and in the blood of Jesus Christ.